Alright guys, by the time this video is out, it would have been 2017 and 2016 went past so fast, my brain can't even register. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my New Year's resolution, which I think a lot of shopaholics out there can empathize with me because 2017 will be the year that you and I will stop spending so much and hopefully this video can help you out as I'll be sharing with you tips on how to spend lesser. So tip number one, online shopping has been my biggest weakness because everything online is so easy and convenient to purchase from that it makes me spend more and unnecessary money. So what you can do is to unsubscribe to e-newsletters that you are subscribing now. That way, they, you won't receive notifications when there are sales our new arrivals and most of the time we don't intend to spend any money but once we see them in the headlines there goes your money so save yourself the temptations from spending unnecessary money and just unsubscribe to them and tip number two i don't know about you guys but i had this stupid rule in the past that i cannot wear the same outfit twice like i would just kill myself if i do that and now thinking back, I think that's pretty bullshit because that's just another way, that's just an excuse for me to buy more clothes. And you know, I can just be wearing the same outfit twice, more than twice, every single day, nobody cares. And tip number three, I'm gonna try and buy in lesser quality and in better quality. So think about it, if you can buy 10 pieces of item on Easy Buy. If you were to save the amount of money, I guarantee you that you can buy a designer item or something from an independent label which may be more pricey for just one item but they are in better quality. Come on, you don't really need those 10 pieces of clothing on Easy Buy. And in fact, all that 10 items, I bet you that only 2 of them will work out. And if you're lucky, 5. So I suggest checking out uh, online sites like ASOS Marketplace or Ticktail which has lots of independent labels that you can choose from and they are all like made in limited quantities or like one of a kind so that means it reduces your chances of wearing the same type the same piece as someone else on the street isn't that great? I love the sense of individualism I can't stand people who are always following the trends blindly like if I do follow a trend, it's because I really like it or I want to experiment and see if it works for me but I don't just follow every single trend blindly. Fourthly, I can't emphasize enough on how important it is to stay away from fast fashion but I'm gonna try and shed some light into this important issue. The reason why we buy from these fast fashion outlets is because they are cheap and also trendy. But once when these clothes go out of style, we're not gonna wear them anymore. And when these clothes are so cheap, it means that they're not built to last. So if you find a lost button or a spot zipper, chances are you're not gonna wear them again. And these clothes become wasted. Can you imagine that not only you are doing this, but your friends and families and everyone else are doing this. So the amount of clothes that are actually wasted is crazy. And you've been uh, noticing my inverted commas, I'm gonna explain to you why these clothes are so cheap. So these fast fashion outlets, they exploit workers. So the sweatshop workers that make your clothes which you paid for, let's say $20, they are only earning a few cents. And it's not even a quarter of what you paid. And that to me is just unfair. And also their standard of living is so low. You can, if you want to learn more about it, you can watch documentaries of it online. And also for my New Year's resolution, I want to better educate myself uh, regarding this topic to better inform my viewers on this issue and that's why on this channel you see me posting videos of thrifting and like vintage shopping and even uh, clothes swapping the reason why is I want to give you a, an alternative to buying at fast fashion outlet I could easily like upload a video of a fast fashion haul because People like to watch that kind of videos and honestly I get more views on that kind of video but I feel that's not what I stand for. I stand for responsible and ethical shopping so that's why I have been posting lots of these kind of videos lately. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to ask you to stop 
totally shop from shopping at fast fashion outlets because you know that's impossible even for me I still do uh, shop at these stores but not as frequently my point is I want you to think twice before purchasing something from fast fashion outlet because you are contributing to this harmful industry if everyone else does their part there'll be lesser wastage and the world will be a much better place so Instead, you can try yeah, clothes swapping or thrifting which you know you can even buy clothes that are as cheap as fast fashion outlets or sometimes even cheaper like the clothes that I can that I find are like as low as $5 I even found pieces that are only $1 and that's crazy and these clothes are still in trend because you know why? Trends always come back So just be open-minded when it comes to thrifting And there you have it, those were my tips on how to stick to your resolution and not spend too much money in this year hopefully I don't know if these tips are gonna work out but I guess you're gonna have to find out and anyway if you haven't subscribed to me already do subscribe down below and also like this video if you think it's gonna be useful and maybe I'll see you later in my next video bye